Residents of Duval County will not get to vote on whether to pass a local gas tax. Jacksonville City Council voted not to put it to a referendum, but we do have a better idea now which way council members are leaning. Joy is joining us now with an update on this big story here locally. Joy. So Kent, Mary, the final council vote is next week, but as of right now, most council members do want to see the local gas tax raised from six cents to 12 cents. But this has truly been a partnership with the legislative body and the executive branch to get to where we are today. 13 yeas and six nays. The Jacksonville City Council's decision to bring the gas tax bill to a full vote next Wednesday with strong opinions shared both ways. I don't want that to be my legacy. I was a guy who taxed kids that haven't been born that have kids that haven't been born yet and left them no way out. And uh, I've never voted to increase taxes or a fee and I'll continue to do that, campaign on that, stick into that, no question. The council did decide that if the gas tax does become law, $250 million of what's collected will be spent on direct contracting to local small, emerging or disadvantaged businesses. Then during next Wednesday's city council meeting, members will make a final decision on whether to pass the gas tax increase from six cents to 12 cents a gallon to pay for transportation projects projects and infrastructure. The legislation only needs 11 yes votes to pass. You know, sidewalks, drainage, ditches, uh, potholes, safety walks, and uh, resurfacing of, of uh, streets, rebuilding of streets, building streets. There's a lot on our plate. Council President Tommy Huzuri hosted a town hall hours after the council met, this one at the Mandarin Senior Center, to hear more of what residents think about the proposed gas tax. And the taxes are getting out of hand, six cents here, 20 cents there, that it really affects the senior citizens. And I wanted to see what they were doing with the money and if I approved of it. Do you approve of it? No, but I'll live with it. Yeah, I understand that. No one wants their taxes to go up, but I focus on where's the money going to go and what are we going to be able to do with it. And I see it as an investment. Now, a UNF poll released yesterday found 58% of those polled are against an increased gas tax. We've posted the full breakdown of where each council member stands right now on newsforjax.com.